and I'm back in the willows and it was nice earlier on but now it's gone a bit dark and the um, it's not a good selection of ales here at the moment but they are closing it next week for renovations apparently there was a leak behind the bar um, so we're going with a bit of Polish lager lager beer and I think it's brewed according to the Rheinhertzke board because there's no maize in it and certainly no rice and done um, quick try in the meantime here's the paper hmm that's quite nice it starts off quite gently and there's a quite bitter aftertaste which is rather pleasant B plus definitely plus actually I need some food um, I've just ordered breakfast and um, I thought this was a dark beer but it's um, it's a light lager and it's quite nice can I say anything apart from it's quite nice there's a vinegar for breakfast quite gentle with a subtle bitter aftertaste as I say in the best beer reviews I wish they would do some German beers apart from the standard stuff which is built in this country like J.H. Cruz Kolnohoff Brau in this country we say Cologne but I think it's Koln in German I hope someone will jump in here and tell me if I'm wrong but we eat more German beers especially Berlin beers from the microbreweries that's it for the moment next step Okay, that is wrong. It's not Polish. It's the Czech. And the Czechs invented lager, a form of Pulsen lager, from Pulsen, which is the German pronunciation of it. I know it's 11.40, but the full big, used to be called farmhouse breakfast, has arrived. Toast, toast, butter, uh, Czech lager, iPhone, case, X coffee, uh, no smoking sign, um, leftover from when you could smoke, uh, arteries hardening even as I speak. So in preparation for me going back to Parma at the end of the month and drinking Spanish beer. Well, I have a sneaking suspicion this is originally Filipino beer. I may be wrong. And it's nice and it has no rice. And it looks like it's raining outside. No sign of an Indian summer in Wales then. Bye bye.